Well, hello. Today we're going to go a little bit through, through the shadow dark, and I'm going to moan a bit. Yes, how do you feel about that? Cold open. K Clang. Wild. Madness. No intro scenes, no nothing. Again, as I've said before, the primary reason for this, of course, is that I do this for my own entertainment, and in order to make sure that I, uh, I uh, actually do some solo role-playing, and that, uh, you know, if you enjoy stuff as you go along, or I'm a nice bit of second screen background activity for you that's cool um anyway i sat down the other day well first of all i used power director or i did use power director until about five minutes ago where i discovered that the problem i've been having with audio tracks so that being with the the different tracks so I basically record for streaming everything goes into a single track and then you, you have separate tracks for recording so that way you can fix the background noise if the background noise is wrong or sound other sounds are they're incorrect or you need to replace something and it's easy well turns out um, power director doesn't support multiple tracks so that's annoying. Um, so I'm not going to be using that anymore. So that's that. A um, little bit of a what I've done for the last hour, trying to figure out why that wasn't doing what it does. Um, but anyway, so the other day I sat down to draw out the map in a in a slightly bigger piece of paper. Um, oh, my coffee. Somehow I've managed to make my space a little bit more awkward whilst also making it less awkward at the same time. So that's, a, that's an achievement on my part. Um, hmm, I've got coffee, by the way. Mm. A uh, high-quality, content-orientated, great person would invariably uh, edit this all out. But as I just said, my power director doesn't do what I wanted to. So, hey, I'm having a bad day, so so can you. Um, what was I thinking about? Yeah, so I sat down to draw the map on, on, a, on a slightly bigger piece of paper. And as I was doing it, I, uh, I did a few more rooms. Um, and uh, the, the evil cleric died. Um, so we kind of went around, went around here past... I did a little roll to check to see, because at the end of the last game... I was like, ah, oh, well, these boulders have got them all lean. But I did a check to see whether or not we landed on, on to, to kind of wreck combat if necessary to go. Maybe they were trapped on the wrong side and the two of them just had to try and escape. Um, but they weren't. So they were on this side. They, and, and so the, the, it ended as, as it should. But anyway, whilst I was kind of redrawing the map and, and doing some faffing about, um, we explored through here, found a secret door. Um, it was trapped, of course, because everything in this place is trapped. Um, in this room, there was another secret door in here that we didn't discover. Um, or... No, we weren't able to, to open it, right? It had some kind of rusted lock. Um, went through here, went up here. This kind of went down a bit. This room was empty. Um, or it might have had a minor treasure in it. We come through here. There is a secret in this corridor that we didn't find. Um, oh no, we did find it. It's just that it's locked and we couldn't get through. Right. Then so we came up here, we went into this room and there was a gelatinous cube that um, ate the cleric. So um, we withdrew. Sensibly. Anyway. So we're going to need to roll up a new cleric. I've been pointing to this cleric and I don't know whether or not you this guy. Um... Tinrock Teren. Tinrock Teren. Where was I getting these names from? Oh, I remember. There's some kind of like... Um, something stuck to my finger. Get off. Get off. Get off of me. I've got coffee on my other hand. So. A little ball of fuzz off of my hoodie. Um, so, yeah. That's, uh, that happened. Um, I don't know how I'm feeling about Shadow Dark. Uh, I think I prefer OSC. I was watching a chap earlier who was like, um, 
Yeah, and one of the benefits of playing solo is you could just change system halfway through. So, wow. So maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll change up to um, OSC, or maybe we'll just bin it. It doesn't really matter. I also spent some time making some traveler characters again, so that might be a thing. And I got the Pen Dragon Grand Campaign because I was watching um, Man Alone Gaming, and he's doing a whole five years of Pendragon and I thought that sounded cool and I really want to do Pendragon. I've been if you've been around I did the um the quick start box set kind of towards the beginning of of the um of streaming and now we're a lot later on. Uh, we still don't have many of the books from the six, sixth edition but I just thought yeah to hell with it. And I bought the um the five point 5.1, 5.x editions of a number of the books, so we'll be doing that as well soon. Um, maybe I'll do that today. Who knows? I've got a session of Dolmenwood with um, the local anime community, so I'll be doing that for summer today. But anyway, we're going to roll up a new character, and then we're going to um, mm, drink some coffee. Hmm delicious um so real nuisances now i'm sat here going is 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 this i almost always end up in a situation where like um my background is almost entirely unaudible or it's too loud um uh, a clever person would of course uh record a bit i mean oh, that's what i've been doing uh, for the last hour and it's never occurred to me to actually think about whether or not the audio is um, is right. So, hey, I'm an idiot. Who knew? All of us. That's who knew. Uh, I also, I was watching, um, I was watching, I was watching Iggy the other day. And um, they were talking about how, um, how they were using squirt um for their background and um yeah so i uh for for so, so squirt is a way of 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 um i think it's squirt it might be sprout or it might be spout 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 that's probably the one probably not squirt well that's a good one i mean yeah um about how you can use that to export from um, VTube Studio into your streaming recording tool. So I used set that. So I set that. Up. Um, mm -hmm. No, that's the uh, coffee finish. It goes into recycling. Um, mm. At the moment, I'm having to buy two coffees at the same time because my uh, housemate has abandoned me. Uh, so, yeah, that's a thing. So, we're going to hopefully make a new cleric. So, let's... Mm, I need to move some bits, don't I? Mm. Actually, it might be better if I bring this a bit more over here for now. But not too much over here because, yeah. We'll end up stuck behind, um, stuck behind that. So we'll stick them in. Um, we'll stick them in here. All kinds of things for me to get myself caught on. I also got a new pad yesterday. I mean, I wasn't intending to, but then Amazon sent me a thing going, "Look, you could get a new Lechton, Lechton." Um, notebook and I was like do you know what I need in my life more notebooks so I got a new notebook um, hopefully we'll use it soon I'm gonna use um, I've still got some old notebooks from Pendragon and that's fine you don't really need many maps for Pendragon and I got some old notebooks for Traveller so this might end up being an OSE campaign um, or something like that. Some dungeon crawling monstrosity. Um, and I don't have my cam, my light set up over here because I've been using it to make some little orc points. One second. 
You're making little little orc guys. Um, so these are a right pain to stick together because they're well cheap. You know, they're like fifteen quid for twenty or so, which isn't too bad. But they are they are pretty pretty nightmarish to put together and to pick which sides of which things you oh sugar no oh, no i don't good no uh oh there we go. i will just threw my dice all over the floor great i don't need you you go there these dice should go somewhere safe and uh yeah we're gonna roll so through three six 10, 12. Oh, wow, that's awful. 2, 5, 6, 8. Nah, I'm sticking these in the wrong hole. Twelve, eight. Do that back a bit now. I've got too large. It's all the pies. Well, that's better. Right. Um, probably help if I had it pointed at me and not the microphone. Yeah, that probably helps a bit. So we had 12, 8, so that's plus 1, minus 1. Oh! Oh, that's 7. That's going to be 17, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 17. 16 is plus 3, so I guess a 17 is probably plus 3 as well. We'll see. <coughs> Next. Uh, 11. Wow, that's pretty good as well. 11 for 17. 17 intelligence. Um, four, nine, eleven, thirteen. Ironic, because they're going to be a. Wait a minute, yeah. Seven, ten. Oh, that's twelve. I might swap those two around. Just for convenience's sake. Nine. Plus three, twelve, plus two, fifteen. Wow, oh, this character is really good. They're definitely going to die immediately. Alright. So let's just swap these around. So, seventeen and twelve. That's good. Okay, cool. So, what are the bonuses here? Um, I don't know. I've already got my Flex Tail book open, so that's good. Where's Adobe? Um, how's PDF sharing feeling today? You feeling good? Let's see. I should really rearrange. I should reset up a button for this. Okay, yeah, that's a... That's a view. It'll do. It will do. It'll do, pig. Uh, I should probably make it... There's a Dobie gun. I need to also get something that will organise my tabs. Because when I'm streaming, or when I'm um, recording, tabs are a right pain to find. So let's make this full height. Let's get rid of this. Ugh. And let's um, disable that. Right. Uh, what were we, we looking at? Modifiers, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. So 16 and 17 are plus three, so plus three. Of course, we've got a bad dex. Um, hmm. Hmm. Um, intelligence 12 plus one. Wisdom 17 plus three. Charisma 15 plus two. Okay. Now, I can't be bothered to faff about with equipment, so we're just going to go 
leather, because we've all got leather, Warhammer, um, digging, uh, 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 crawling kit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sling. Shield. Which will give them an armor class of. Of course, uh, 10 and 12, because we've got minus one to their um, thingy, but their hit points will be. Their hit points will be. Oh, I know one of these things, it's probably. No, uh, whatever. It'll be fine. Um, hit points. What was I thinking about hit points? Six plus three, nine. So that's not too bad. Um, let's just do that. Um, so of the original party, we now only have one character. Uh, name. No, wait, let's roll the cleric. Clerics. Species, Ancestry, two, Goblin. Let's have a Goblin Cleric. Goblin, Cleric, um, what's her thing? Keen Senses, you can't be surprised. Cool. Um, <clears throat> Next, priest class, spell casting. You cast but with blah 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 blah. You know two priest spells. Fifty-one. Um, probably cure wounds because let's face it, this game needs a heal bot. Cure wound and <clears throat> protection from evil. Holy weapon. Um, okay, so two spells for that. Back up here. Mm. Right, when we do the clerics, a priest, whatever. Whatever. Four. Plus one to melee or ranged attack, so it'll be plus one to melee. And yeah, cool. They also get to turn undead. Turn undead. Uh, I mean, those are languages. Um, no, it doesn't. Oh, what? They can use crossbows. Oh, shit. Let's give them a crossbow instead. Yeah. No, that's not canon. That's not very traditional. Cross. But I always like having your weapon types um, determined by your deity. I always think that's fine. Um, that was kind of like a big thing. A big thing in AD&D. &D. I think that was probably a bonus. Um, we're not thieves. Background. T20. Let's... Uh, Hide this, you can see with dice roll. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> dice roll, dice roll. Twelve. A sailor. Fair enough. <clears throat> Background. Sailor. And we're doing... Uh, one to two lawful, three to five... Neutral six going. What? Lawful. Okay. Uh, level one, XP zero. That's something that I've not checked. I mean, we haven't really found anything worth getting XP for yet. Um, so, yeah. We won't worry about that for now. And they'll need a name. 
They need a name. They need a name. They need a name. Uh, where's that name table? Oh, yeah, names for NPCs. Oh, yeah, awarding XP. Characters gain XP from valuable treasures, boons earned during an adventure. XP doesn't need to reflect monetary value. Yeah. Yeah, we've not really found anything to date. We got the fancy wand. Oh, there is a magic item in, in, in that gelatinous cube as well. Um, they're just not really ready to fight a gelatinous cube. It's very strong. Um... <laughs> do, 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 do. So yeah, we're still on this first adventure. Here we go. Twenty, so that's a lem. Nineteen, lemon, <laughs> lemon. Okay, we're just called lemon. Lemon. Uh, what are you? You're a thief. An elf thief. What do elves get again? I'm not noting this down. Um, elf thief. Elf thief. Elf thief. Right, style. Mm. Priest thief. Um, all that nonsense. Backstab thievery. Okay. And then ancestry. Plus one bonus for attack rolls with ranged weapons. Plus one to spell cut. Or yes, this will be plus one to ranged weapons. Plus one arranged reference. Okay, cool. Let's go. Let's go. Let's give this another go. Events Adobe oh, Agrabaria. Um this I've currently got the um the stand for the other light, but I don't I don't need it here at the moment, so I'll just move it to one side. Means I don't keep hitting my arm on it. Okay, cool. Um, so, what we need is the um, flex flex table. And I think I think this has been going pretty well with the flex table. I think it's a pretty good a pretty good tool. I've not I hadn't managed to use it in anger, and um, I'm going to probably be using it for not this one, so not this book, but there's a AI. In inverted commas, so like a, a a set of tools for deciding how um, various actors in your universe react, and I think that'll be fun for like Pendragon and um, Traveller. So kind of going beyond just the reaction table. Um, so yeah, 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 yeah. So we're going to say when it's a turn to get through each area. Everyone has. Um, a number of torches so I normally go six torches for one bunch of torches so um, who will have the torch probably the magic user so we've got a dwarven magic user um, Coriol but we'll keep a we'll keep an indicator of um, torches um, and we'll also roll every two turns to see if there's a random encounter and I have a table, another table for randomy monsters. Yeah, I won't bother sharing it. it. You'll, you'll, it'll be a surprise. It'll be fun. So it's just like this is how I ended up with a gelatinous cube. Um, hey, that's life. So. We're going to come out of here and head down. Does this um, does Flex have a a um, a repopulation table? No. Okay. 
But I can re-roll... I'm going to re-roll chambers, and we'll roll random encounters every two turns, right? Um, now, these are 10-foot squares. Characters can move 90 foot. You can tell that I play too much BX. Um, so... Ninety foot. This, I don't want to use this dice for that because that's actually a dice that I like. So it's that. Let's use an ugly dice. Maybe not ugly, but these are my um, something else that I need to play at some point. Is I got the the Final Fantasy fourteen role playing game as well. Uh, well, I've got the um, the intro, the quick start box. We'll see. So, turn one. Um, one, two, three, four, five. This door. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This door. Do I want to re roll obstacles? Um, no, probably not. Funnily enough, it doesn't have a door generator. Um, it's just funny. Um, it does have an obstacle. There. So, we get to this door. Um, simple question is the door stuck? Um, no. It's an odd. So, a two is low. No, and it's been broken open. Um, so, this door is. It's always open, right? So this room, is there anything in this room? Let's roll. Um, six, no encounters. Okay, so nothing's repopulated in this room. So this is one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, again, is this door stuck? Um, 17, so yes. And that's high. Yes, but it's not particularly stuck. It just makes like a, a, a creaking noise as it opens up. Um, but that will be a turn, right? So that's one turn. Um, but that doesn't really have an effect. It's just like, as we open it up. Okay. Down this here corridor. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Brings us to this door. Uh, we've already been this way a bit, so I think maybe we'll we'll explore down here some. All right, so we're going to push forward down this route. Um, we also roll for a random encounter. One means there's an encounter. No, okay, we're good. Um, <laughs> Okay, so let's roll for what do we see down this corridor? Eleven four-way chamber. Mm. So like so. doesn't really fit in here so we'll just turn it into a freeway chamber because we don't have the, have the room and we always put doors in so I had a table at some point but I wrote somewhere hold on one second Yeah, I think it's in this pile. So these are characters for another long since forgotten game. Probably White Box, I think that probably was. Um, I think maybe on one of these. Um, encounters, no treasure. Getting lost, more characters. 
Um, character, character, character. Characters, yeah, these are all characters. Maybe these aren't. I thought these were um, some of my table cards put there. They're clearly not. That's annoying. Oh well. Such is life. Such is the way of things. Uh, I can probably deep, deep storage for you somewhere. But I need them. Probably won't be playing with them anymore. Uh, the wilderness travel might be useful at some point. Roll a random direction. Encounters for thingy. Um, so, I used to have a table for traps. It probably looks a bit like... Not traps, doors, right? Uh, it probably goes a bit like... Door... Um, one... Easy, open... Uh, two to three... Um, maybe two to four stock. Yeah, it's making two to four stock. Five locked. Six trapped. Right. Quick little table, just so that we can check the status of the. Right, so mm. ah. this door is no oh, for goodness sake. This door is easy open, right? So that's cool. This door will be easy open and this door will be trapped. Cool. Um we don't know about those, so we will listen at this door and see if we can hear anything. We need 12s for the thief to hear anything, so we don't hear nothing. Uh, we should roll to see chamber. <coughs> 20. Roll twice. <laughs> um, actually, I might change this to using table B. So table B is for party and its allies are of advanced abilities relative to their level um, for an additional challenge. So I think I might use that on this because it uses all the options. So this on a 20, it's combat and treasure, right? So that sounds like fun. Combat. Combat encounter table. Combat encounter table. Let's see if this will give us something interesting. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's use my table. D12. Four. What's four on my giant centipedes? Okay. So there will be um, probably 2d6 giant centipedes in here. Probably eating some kind of festering carcass. Nine giant centipedes. Nine giant centipedes. This sounds like it'll probably be a situation to cast sleep. Because nine sounds like a big number. Um, and what's for treasure? Can we see the treasure? Um, let's see what the treasure is. First of all, gems. Quick start gem. Generator. Yeah. Nine. High coins. Um. Tell me what high coins are. Low coin, medium coin, high coins. Six. Eleven. <clears throat> Eleven. Well, let's go for D20 times. D20 times. Six. Yeah. D20 times six. Oh, wait, no. D6. Six. No, yeah. D20 times six. 
18 times 6. Right, I'm going to have to get a calculator out for that because whilst I could do it, I expect I'd do it wrong. 108 gold pieces. <clears throat> so there's a little bag of gold in here. It's got 108 gold pieces in it. So let's, uh, let's try and defeat these... Um, these little guys. Oh, fiddlesticks. Yeah, okay, so that's free. No, I didn't want... Yeah, no, okay. Um... Another beast, these reactions. Six, so that's aggressive. Um... And we want that bag, and this room is clearly has things in it. So, if we go to here... And we go spells... So let's just check what sleep does in this system. For a start. Because I take it, because I mean it's a great spell in OSR. Um, you leave a blah 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 blah. Uh, living creatures in the area of effect fall into a deep sleep if they are within their level two or below. Okay. Um near-sized cube extending from you. No one knows what that means. Um, living creatures in the area of effect fall into a deep sleep, vigorously shaking or injuring wakes them. But you just coup de gras um, sleeping things anyway, so that's an auto kill. I haven't got time for your messing around. You're not going to injure something that's asleep. You're going to hack its head off. Um, so, how does magic work? Anyway, well, let's first of all roll initiative. So, bad guys, good guys. Good guys go first. So, um, moves. Everyone's going to stand back as uh, the wizard starts casting. Um, how does this work? Casting spells. Wizard magic is fickle. Sad times. Um, when you cast a spell, you invoke magic to cause an effect. Cast a wizard spell you know. Roll a d20 plus your intelligence modifier. Um, 10 plus for level of the spell. That's pretty harsh, right? Um, magic user plus three. So this is a... Corel, Corel Boreas, Corel Boreas. He will call Boreas. Corel, Corel Boreas. Uh, D twenty plus three. Eight plus three is eleven. We're good. Um. So cast sleep. All these giant centipedes fall asleep. And the crew go around and boop 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 bop them. Um, so, if you succeed on a spell check, the spell takes effect. If you fail, um, the spell does not take effect and you can't cast that spell again until you rest. Um, if you roll a natural 20 on your spell check, you may double one of the spell's effects. Um, this remains in effect. This remains in effect on a focus spell. Thank okay. you. Um, so, I mean, we, uh, we didn't have a problem. That went fine. And it also means we've still got sleep, so this is like, whilst you can screw up and not cast your spell, you also don't lose your spell. And um, that's useful. So, well, it only affects level two or below creatures, so two hit dice monsters. Unlike proper sleep, which I think is four hit dice? Yeah, I think it's four hit dice. And it's two D8 hit dice worth of monsters. So cool, anyway. Um, we put them to sleep and we get 102 gold. 102? Was it 102? It was 18 times 6, right? 108. We got 108 gold pieces. Mm -hmm. 108 gold pieces. I mean, not what we're looking for, but, you know, it's, it's something. <sighs> I wonder if, um, yeah, so that's all, that'll be a turn, so it's a random monster check, 
And there's been a fight. So one or a two will be we've gained interest from someone. Nope, we're good. Okay. So, are we going to try the south door or the east door? I mean, west door. Uh, one to three, four to six. One to three. So we're going to go through this door. Oh, that's a bonus. We bypass the thingy. So we open the door and see what's behind it. And the door swings open naturally and with great ease. Um, <laughs> what do we got? What have we got? Fifteen. Single hall with an obstacle. So what's the obstacle? Let's have a check. Obstacle, 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 obstacle. Page 47. Two. Ugh. This two is such a boring one. I'm ignoring it. Six. Cave in. Um. Yeah, is it more interesting if we use B? Locked door. <laughs> okay, there's a locked door in. Locked door in the corridor. Can the thief. Um, going to take a turn to try and do this, so we're going to have to use a torch. We should probably, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six, um, so light up the torch next turn, um, probably 12 or above to get through the door with the lockpick. 11 plus dex modifier for the thief, so that's a 13. So he manages to unlock the door and the next turn. The next turn begins. So carry on down this corridor. What do we see in the gloom? And there are all the walls closing around us. 10. <laughs> Ten. A four-way hall. Okay. Like so. Um, I like this table. It gives us pretty good stuff. Um, right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, fiddlesticks. I forgot. That's straight ahead, right? But I need to roll hallway encounters. 17. Combat encounter. There are some wandering monsters here in this um, corridor. 10. Uh, that sounds bad. Vampire spawn. It is bad. Right. Um, vampire spore. Do, 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 Now, they are kind of prepped for vampires, right? Because this is the, the tomb of vampires and all that. I've got another book somewhere, actually. Hold on. So, I've not really read this book. I probably should, but hey. Have we got vampires in here? We do. Page 157. Vampires. Things that are known. They're repulsed by mirrors. Sunlight damages them. 
They can be slain by being held under running water. A wooden shaft through the heart will paralyze them. They are resistant to non-magical weapons. Once killed by normal means, they turn into gas and retreat to their coffins. Okay. Um, mm, there's some other bits and pieces in here that we could pick, pick from. Um, rumors and other absences in mirror. In the mirror. Uh, this is some interesting so these are kind of bits and pieces that we could think about um, they're actually intestinal parasites that infect corpses um, the victim harbour all sorts of weird physical characteristics but the actual creature is a small wandering gut worm hmm Vampirism is used by the powers of law to isolate and neutralize dangerous chaotic influences. Nah. Um, what happens when a dangerous, dynamic champion of chaos becomes a vampire? Vampires become terrible forces for conservatism, unchanging, eternal. They are law's way of making chaos serve it. And only poor mortals suffer for their gambling. That actually, this is actually interesting now that I think about it, right? So, the thing about vampires is that they, they don't like change, they like everything to stay the same, which makes them lawful, right? Um, so, they, they, they could be used to maintain order. The only people that suffer are peasantry. And, you know, lords don't really care about the peasantry. Um, that's interesting. Um... They're just fiction made manifest by sages. Uh, okay, cool. That's, that's good book. It's got interesting stuff in it. Um, but they've come, they've come kind of prepared, right? Um, let's have a look at Vampire Spawn in the book. Uh, vampire Spawn. Do do Vampire Spawn. V, V, A, Vampire, Vampire Spore. There's probably only one of them. But let's roll a D, D2. There's two of them. Um, so they're only damaged by silver and magical sources. Blood drain, Vampire must sleep in a coffin. Mm -hmm. Level five, goodness. Um, there, this is a problem. There is. There, let's make it. There's only. There's only one of them, right? Um, how does turn undead work? That's a good question. Turn undead. Slums, oceans, districts, tunnels. Um, turn undead. T T T T T T T T. Oh. There it is. Turn undead. You rebuke undead creatures, force them to flee. Undead creatures must make a charisma check versus a spell check. Um, if a creature fails. By ten. Okay, right. So first off, uh, is either side surprised? No. And neither side surprised. Uh, what are the vampire spawn doing? Is very. I'm pretty sure there's a table for this. Um, Corey Foss. Um, let there be darkness. Do, 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 do. Um, mm, 
Reaction. Vampire's reaction. Nine. Neutral? Okay. Interesting. Um, so what are we doing? Why is it a nine? What are we doing? Come on, system. What are we doing? What are we doing? Um... Uh, 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 nope, nothing in there. He isn't here somewhere then. Hmm. Uh, I always wish that this would open up um collapsed. NPCs, rival crawlers, something happened, random encounters. Okay, 2d6, what's the activity? Four. Hunting. Right, so basically the characters, we're not entirely sure what to make of them. We've clearly not seen a collection of four tasty looking morsels in here before. And these things are all twisted and they're like bluish pale and kind of red eyes that are glowing and claws and generally not not great looking individuals. Um, so whilst they're not sure what they're doing, um, we're going to cast turn on them. So, spell check. Again, this will be d10 plus 3. So that's a 17. And they get to roll d20 plus their charisma check. Charisma bonus. So, down to V's again. V V V V V V V V V V V V V V I'm looking for V, it's after R, it's also after S. Right, so their charisma bonus is plus two. Oh shit, what did I roll? It was like Times like this, you wish you could just quickly rewind your thingy. I think we rolled a, a, a 17, right? Or was it a 15? Let's go with 15 plus 3, that's 8. So, um, 18 even. So, they roll. They're not turned. So, um, but they are now upset right got our crosses out etc 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 see who goes first party goes first we try to turn on dead again so that's 14 versus five so <clears throat> We turn the, 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 the beastie is like, ah, 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 and by the power of uh, some dude, by the power of Christ, I compel you. And it stands there, and goes, I'll tell the master. And it runs off down a corridor. Um. So that's. That's that's good. Okay, good. We've 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 not been eaten by um we've not been eaten by by our new our new vampire spawn friend, but we have seen a vampire spawn now. And um they're all like, well that was that was hideous. I'm not not looking forward to, to having to tackle with one of them again. Um indeed. Goes go go the rest of the group. So Karen our thief is lawful, so kinda of, they're a kind of scout thief that yeah, it does this kind of thing. Do we chase it or do we let it go on its way? I think we'll probably let it go go on its way. But let's um, let me just double check what turn what turn 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 on dead. Mm. Monsters. Random encounters. Game master. Magic. <sighs> Turn on dead. T 
turn on that. Oh, right, well, that only matters if it's just one level. Um, it flees from us for five rounds. So, you know, it can probably move comparable to us. So it's probably moving 90, 90 foot a turn, uh, 90 foot a round. In, well, 30 foot a round, five rounds, that takes it, you know, a long way away. Okay, cool. So we've mm. encountered... But it ran away, right? Mm. So we're going to carry on. We're going to carry on in the straight ahead. So D twenty. <laughs> Now what's this, what, once it stops running, have I got a table for it? No, I don't. But what I do have, as I was saying earlier, we can have a look at this now, I suppose. If we go to here, and we go, um, hmm, Flex AI Guidebook, printer friendly. We want one page, Height of thingy, and we're going to turn off that. We go here, and I'll turn on Adobe so you can see. Let's see how it looks. Well, let, actually, let's double check something because just remembered that sometimes these books like to try and dox you. Um, no, this one's fine. Um, where is it here? All right, cool. Um, Right, so if we go to here, brute. I mean, yeah, this is kind of a brute, right? I think it's probably is it a lurker? Lurker, brute. Probably a brute. Probably a minion. No, it's probably solo, right? Um. Ambush, relentless. Wait, I'm prepared. So that's its combat actions. Okay, so these are all car. So I guess this is because it's it, obviously it's combatant. So we're not a combatant. We are um, outside of combat. Bystander, asset, opponent. Passing by combat, lull. Formal gathering, informal gathering. <clears throat> this is probably the one. Have a look here. Right, so you'll see here that there's a bunch of different tables um, as to what it might be doing. Um, so we roll a D100 to find out um, what it's doing and then Values shown are percent R rolls, NPC actions taken. <clears throat> so, um, I don't actually think this this one helps for what we're doing right now. Um, okay, I don't think that helps us. 
So we'll just ask a question, right? Is that um, vampire spawn going to go back and tell its um, vampire lord that we're here? I think this is probably the most likely thing we're going to do. Yes. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> it very much has. It's whoosh. It's it's off to tell the vampire lord. Um, now that means that when it does, now that oh, I just closed that plastic book. Um, um, we open this again. Now I think that we can. Uh, <clears throat> bystander opponent, right? So this will be an opponent controller. Yeah, it will be a, an opponent. And um, love. So first off, I think you now if I understand this properly, we roll a D hundred to see what we're going to do. Ninety-seven mislead. Okay. So they're going to attempt to mislead the character make a note of this because um, vampire lord tries to mislead characters once it finds out right so and I kind of think the, the reason for this is that um, once you know, it, it's a vampire lord who wants to play with its food, right? So it's going to, um, it's going to use like illusion magic and, and stuff like that to, 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 to misdirect the party. Um, so that'll be exciting. All, you know, it's a vampire, so that's kind of like the kind of thing that it does. Um, when it's, you know, it's, it's probably bored. It, it wants to, it wants to play around with its food. Um, yeah, okay. So, this should be a four now. Roll for encounter. No encounter. Because it wasn't a big old fight. So, um, I'm probably going to wrap it up there for now. Um, you're going to have a cup of coffee to drink. Uh, some other bits and pieces to do. And run and play in Dolmen within a little bit with friends. So, yeah. The party hasn't died, and the party has finally got some gold. Because they're pretty much bankrupt now. Um, they've got some gold. They've got this magic wand. Um, there's a wand of remove... Something or other. Um, floating around in a gelatinous cube, which has probably moved from there, but we've not gone that way, so it's not important. We might run into it later. Um, yeah. Cool. And we will continue down this path when we next, when we next meet. Uh, this way. Next. And I might end up, you know, splicing together two videos again or something like that. But anyway. Um, have fun. Slime you later. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Bye-bye.